Hello, I am Stefan Maniena from the Autonomous Systems Lab at the ETH Zurich. This video presents an application of autonomous constructions that I developed during my PhD at the Robotic Systems Lab in EPFL Lausanne, Switzerland. I use the miniature Markspot robot equipped with a magnetic gripper. The gripper allows the robot to assemble building blocks into three-dimensional structures. We explore the problem of autonomous construction in unknown environments with scarce resources. Indeed, when many resources are readily available, the robot does not need to worry about supply. However, if the resources are scarce, the robot must plan its action wisely to avoid making a move that would prevent the completion of the structure. To approach this problem, we have built an experimental setup consisting of two areas separated by a valley. In these areas, polystyrene cubes represent resources, which the robot can use either to bridge the valley or to build a structure. At the beginning of the experiment, the robot knows neither the topology nor the geometry of the environment and therefore starts by exploring its surroundings. This allows the robot to build a semantic map of the environment in which the robot ground symbols representing the areas, the valley and the resources. You can see this map at the top left of the screen. Once the robot holds a consistent map of the environment, the human orders the robot to build a tower in the top area. However, building a tower requires three cubes, yet only two of them are available in the top area. Using Planner 9 or Hierarchical Task Planner, the robot reasons that to build this tower, it must retrieve the resources from the opposite area, and that to do so, it must first build a bridge. Note that if three resources had been available in the top area, the robot would have used these resources directly instead of building a bridge. The robot does not know in advance the specific pattern. It only has separate elements of knowledge on how to build towers and how to access remote locations. The robot combines these elements using the task planner to achieve its goal given the environment. To move safely around the valley, the robot employs a path planner based on his star. When the robot fetches and places a cube, it uses its camera for local fine alignment. Finally, the robot completes the tower in less than 5 minutes. You can find more information about this work on this website. Thank you for your attention.